When it comes to using AI for content creation, this could be a complicated and costly problem going between different tabs. And to be honest, guys, you've been lied to because there is actually an AI that allows you to do everything from text, image, and content creation all in one place. Stay tuned because today we're going to be talking about Abacus AI. These allow you to do basically anything you want from a normal content creation level all the way up to managing massive amounts of teams, all with AI helping at the forefront. So without further ado, let's dive straight into the video. So here we are in the Abacus AI landing page, and this is a platform that really is a one-stop shop for all AI. So if you are an individual or a creator, guys, this is great for generating your scripts, generating your imagery for thumbnails, and obviously generating some of the video for B-roll in your videos. So this is fantastic, but if you do have a team, this is also designed for enterprise level with API access to multiple different chatbots across the internet. And if we go into the back end here, we can actually see that it looks very, very familiar on this front. And if we actually go under the hood here, we can see that this has access to a bunch of different large language models or LLMs for short. You can see here that we have access to ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, DeepSeek, and even Grop here as well. So fantastic stuff. Why is this useful for content creation? Well, depending on the content you are making, you're probably going to want a different type of AI. For example, if you are scripting something, potentially you might want to use Grok because that is actually trained on a lot of data from X or Twitter. So you're gonna get a much more personal response from an LLM like Grok. Whereas if you are making more of a story or something that's a little bit more factual or formal, definitely be using something like ChatGPT because this is trained more on the internet, search results, this kind of stuff. That would be better for your content if it's more academic or if it's more formal. So let's just say we want to create our own YouTube short or TikTok. These are typically under one minute long. What we can do here is select the language model we want. We're gonna go with Grok for this one so it's a little bit more personal. And then we're going to type in, create a YouTube short script on five life hacks. Pretty simple, but let's just see what this comes back with. And here we can see it has the opening hook for our short, which is fantastic. And then it's got all of the life hacks coming through and timestamps to show you how long each section is going to be. So when you are recording, you can actually keep this under one minute. It also gives you a visual note here where you can add quick cuts and just helpful tips on how you can make this short better and more engaging for your audience. Now, if we wanted to generate an image here, we can actually go down to this image section in the bottom left, type that, and then again, we are going to be able to select the model that we want to use here. So we could use Flux if we wanted to, Dali, which is from OpenAI, or we could even use Ideogram here as well. What I do love about this platform is you can basically pick any model that's out there right now that's competing for the top spot in the AIs. So just picking the one that is currently the best is obviously going to be the better choice for you when you are generating images. Let's stick with Flux here for this one. Next, we can choose the number of images we want to generate. So we're gonna generate four in this case. And then we're just going to type in a prompt here. Hopefully it can accompany our shorts. And then we're just going to click generate here. Uh, and then if we scroll down here, guys, we can actually give it an image prompt. We can have the prompt strength here as well. So depending on where you set this, this is going to be essentially uh, how much like the new image is going to be the same as the old image. This is essentially going to be how much the new image is going to be similar to the old image. We can select the seed and we can select the aspect ratio here as well. Let's go with nine by 16 to keep it in line with our short form. And then we're just gonna press generate here. And now we can see these images have been generated. So we can see here, this is a fantastic one. If we were gonna show life hacks as a thumbnail here for our YouTube short, this would be a great image. We could also put some text up here if we wanted, but fantastic results here from this. I don't think we even needed four results. One was absolutely fine and hit the nail on the head here. So good stuff there. Let's move on to video generation. So to do that, we're going to press this more button at the bottom and we're gonna to go to video gen here. Next, we're gonna choose which LLM we want to run this on. I'm pretty happy using Runway here. It's definitely one of my favorites out there 
or video generation, but you have all of the best LLMs out there that you can choose from. Then we're going to go to this start frame option, actually input the frame that was generated here by the LLM previously. Once that's uploaded, then we're gonna put in a prompt here of this image and basically say what we want the image to turn into with the video. We're going to do aspect ratio of this one because it is a vertical piece of content. We're gonna select this so we get better video results. And the duration here, we're going to keep at five seconds and then just press generate. And then literally in 20 seconds here, this has generated a video that we can use at the start of our short form content here. As you can see, looks very realistic, looks fantastic. And we can use that as our hook here for our short form piece of content. You're probably wondering how much all of this costs. And if you were to guess, it would probably be around the 50 to 100 buck range. But I'm gonna tell you right now that is completely wrong because you as a new user can be added to a team here for literally $10 per month. And then you will get a certain amount of credits or points that you can use on generating via different AIs. And honestly, guys, I have not run out of points ever. This is something that's fantastic. And for 10 bucks per user is ridiculously good value for money. For example, we could generate 400 premium images like this. We could generate 50 videos per month like we've done here. And you can get 2 million compute points for things like text and articles if you were writing those. So when it comes to content creation, in terms of value for money here, guys, this is probably the best out there. And you have access to basically everything AI all in one place. Now, a bonus point here, guys, is if you did want to generate something like a PowerPoint presentation, you could do so very easily using this button here at the bottom. We could type in a prompt here and say, hey, generate a PowerPoint presentation about five life hacks. Then we just press the OK button here, and then it's going to start working away and actually ask you more questions here so you can actually make the correct PowerPoint presentation. So here we can say productivity, just answering the question and then say four slides here. And here it's come up with the slides that it's going to create, and then it's going to do actual previews of those slides as well here. So here we can see hack one, hack two, and hack three here coming through nicely. Now today we've actually talked about some of the basics that you can do for content creation here, but there is so much more in-depth stuff you can do with this platform, whether it is lip sync, whether it's text to speech, you could give it tasks and it's gonna go ahead and do those. You can analyze videos and you can even upload a PDF and it's gonna use the data from that PDF to chat with you in a specific context about what you want to talk about. This is gonna be something that's fantastic. We do have a massive pitch deck or a white paper. We could just upload this. It's gonna read it all. Then it's gonna give us stuff that's actually relevant to what we want to know. So that is Abacus AI. Definitely check it out. We've touched on what we can do with content creation in this video, and that is with text, image generation, and obviously video generation as well. So that's fantastic. But as we've seen, there is many more things you can do with this platform. If you're looking for that one-stop shop that is super cheap, and super valuable with AI, then definitely check out Abacus AI in the description, guys. That's gonna be it from me. Have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next one.